way, guys, I just want to tell you I borrowed Tony's toothbrush here uh, so I could, you know, get, get in these nice tight places. But don't you guys worry. I'm going to put this back as soon as I'm finished right where I found it. RV Barn to me. I'm here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to our channel, I just want to let you know that we did live on our motorhome here for 15 months where we were building our pole barn, home base, barnuminium, whatever you want to call it. You can probably see it behind us. The garage door is there. Uh, we did move in in November of 2020. And let me tell you, when we <laughs> when we got the okay and the final inspection notice that we could move in, we literally grabbed everything out of here so fast and hightailed it <laughs> in the living quarters. So in the meantime, we left this place a nasty, a nasty, nasty wreck. So it was dirty, it was filthy, and we didn't realize it at the time because we were inside in November. And inside the pole barn, when you live in, you don't get all the natural lights. You can't see how dirty everything is. But boy, we sure found out when we pulled this thing out, getting it ready for springtime. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just giving it a royal scrub down because everything was so filthy, including some of the things like the shower curtain. Shower curtain was the worst. So we're going to be replacing that today. I had to order a new one. Now I did try to clean it. So what you can see is it's hemmed about a couple of inches and the hem, there's two pieces of plastic that are hemmed together. And in between that, it gets water and it grows mold. And I tried to clean it with bleach and a bucket of water. I let it soak for a couple hours, rinsed it, put it out in the sun. Didn't do any good. So we had to just bite the bullet, buy a new one. And we're glad we did. So uh, this video is about that. But I also wanted to let you know, if you live in your RV, it is, it's going to wreak havoc on things because these things are built so fast and so cheap and the products are cheap. And they're just, they're, they're not made to be lived in. So we just did a video, put the eye in the sky, uh, replacing these uh, captain's chairs. We had them reupholstered along with the dinette chairs. And then today we're doing the shower curtain. Uh, we did a new kitchen sink, eye in the sky there, because just from using it so much, it, it always had water around the base of it. We couldn't stand that anymore. It would puddle up, so we replaced that. Uh, while we were living in it, the macerator pump went out. So we replaced that. It's another eye in the sky. Some other things that went kind of crazy is a lot of our hinges. I can show you that come undone. So we still are working on that. We replaced some of them, but there's still a few we need to replace. Uh, the drawer locks that keeps the drawers from flying out when you're going down the road, uh, those have loosened up. So they're not working anymore. We need to replace some of those because they fly out. We're going down the road. Uh, and that's just from opening and closing them so much while we're living, while we're living in it. Uh, what else? So the deep clean is what I'm working on today. So we did clean it some this spring, but today I'm doing a more deep clean and getting in all the cracks and crevices and the blinds, they're dirty, you know, cleaning out the stove and things like that. So, but anyway, we are trying to get this thing uh, back in tip top shape. A few other things that I'll show you is I'm going to take the air conditioner filter out. You want to keep that clean. I usually do it twice in a season and all of the, the fan covers, the screen ones that are over your, your fans, like in your bathroom or your RV, uh, those tend to collect dust. So those need to be cleaned regularly too. And sometimes you bugs get up in there. So I think ours has a few. And then some of our uh, covers on our lights, they have weird things in them. So there's bugs and gnats. And then it looks like there's some kind of insulation or I don't know, there's some kind of white stuff. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna get that cleaned out today as well. So I'm gonna get busy. We hope that you guys will follow us along, ring that bell so you get all of the notifications notifications. Uh, we're still doing stuff with our barn dough. Things we're finishing up. Lots of stuff to come on that. We're still doing stuff with our RV as well. Leave us a comment. We love to hear from you guys and let us know if you've had to replace your shower curtain. Well, after living in the camper for uh, 15 months, the uh, shower curtain is a little worse for wear. She, uh, she's showing her signs of age and uh, a little cloudy and a uh, little 
looks like mildew at the bottom, but uh, we've cleaned it a thousand times. It just won't come off. So we just ordered a new uh, screen fabric that goes on the, the door frame. And uh, I'm just going to swap it out. Pretty easy fix. A little bit different, don't it? A little shade of blue to it. All right, so I'm trying to figure out which way this goes. I would assume the slick side goes to the inside and the texture is on the outside. And there is a label up here that uh, uh, is legible, read, readable from this direction. So I'm gonna assume this is the, the way it goes. So I'm gonna make this the bottom. So the bottom slides on first. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pause here and tag team this to get it slid down the entire shaft of the the frame here. Now that was much easier with two people. Uh, while I was feeding it down, she was pulling it from the bottom, so that made it a lot easier. Because if it if it folded. It would uh, it would put a crease in it, and then it was hard to get it in the slot. So that worked out. So I'm going to go get the uh, middle clips that clamp it to the rest of the rail. That's on the old one outside, and then she'll be done. Well, these are very easy clips. They got a little thing on the end, and you'll stick them through the hole, and then you'll push it in and turn it, and that will lock it in place. Generic. And then I'll do the same to the bottom. $46, maybe $48 with shipping and everything. New year, new look, fresh. And then where we got it, I just... That writing on the actual shower curtain oh. that you were talking about, oh, yeah. it gave a name and a number. And so I called and ordered it, and they shipped it to me. They were originally out of stock, but then it took about three weeks for them to get it in. Then they charged my credit card and sent it to me.
this is all that holds this plastic piece to the air conditioner where you access the filter. So you can use a butter knife or if you don't have that handy and you have some change, whoops, be careful, it'll come flying at you. <laughs> so ours is actually pretty clean. I did clean this at the end of summer last year and then we didn't use the air conditioner anymore. So that's why it's still clean. But this filter here will just pop off and you can wash it. I usually just wash it in some warm water, get all of the dust out of it, put it out in the sun, get some UV rays on it, kill any harboring bacteria that might be in there, let it dry good. You can just pop it right back in place. So our bathroom vent cover, as you can see, it's not too dirty. We've had this before where it's covered with dust, but it does have some bugs. There's a stink bug. They're all over the place. So I'm still going to go ahead and pop this off and clean this one. And one hint, you want to cover this with something because if you don't, when that pops off, it gives like a little punch when it comes down and gives away and dust will just rain on top of you. So you can cover it with a towel. I usually just use paper towels because then you can just throw them away when you're finished. So here we go. You can clean the blades of the fan off because they're going to be grimy too. It up. So I'm going to continue working on this before I pop the cover back on. There's that white stuff I was talking about. I don't know. I think it comes, it comes from up inside. Some kind of foam insulation. Mm -hmm. 